Hello, it's Dr. Lindsay Brining from Shine Pediatric Dentistry, and today I'd like to take a few minutes of your time and talk about rethinking your drink. So as we know, water is the best drink for our body. It's so important to drink throughout the day. It's good for your body and it's great for your teeth. It's the only thing that doesn't cause cavities. So when you're thirsty, it's super important to drink water and have that bottle of water with you so that you can sip on it throughout the day. That's the only thing that you should be sipping on throughout the day. You can see here that water has no sugar in it. That's awesome. The daily recommended sugar amounts for kids is around 25 grams of sugar, which you can see over here. And what we can find out is that if we're drinking a sugary drink, wow, how easy is it to exceed that amount, okay? I mean, look at this big gulp, 134 grams of sugar. Look at all that sugar. You have one big gulp. I mean, that's more than you're supposed to have in like a whole week. So you have to think about if I want to eat some other sweet treats like ice cream. Remember, ice cream is better for your teeth than lots of other candies because it rinses from your mouth pretty fast. That and it's, and it's part dairy, right? Um, but if you're going to have that big gulp, you might as well forget about that ice cream. What would you rather have? A big old bowl of ice cream or just one drink? Now, size also matters. If you look here for the Slurpee, you, if you choose the smaller Slurpee, that is way less sugar. That gives you more opportunities other places. Um, and then what we want to look at here is, is this Gatorade. Look at this Gatorade bottle. So we oftentimes think that like, oh, I'm in a sporting event or, oh, Gatorade is better for me than just pop because it has electrolytes in it and things that could be good for my body, which is true. But look at this. If you look at the bottle, it tells you that there's 26 grams of sugar in this Gatorade. But what you might not realize is this Gatorade. So then you think, oh, well, this sugar in this Gatorade is about the same amount that's in this chocolate milk. So that's not so bad for me. But what you don't realize is that this Gatorade bottle, it's two and a half servings. And so that means that you're actually getting the equivalent or more than if you just drink the soda, okay? And so that's what we really have to be mindful of is how much sugar is in our drinks. So what we also have to think about is how we drink it. Are we gonna drink it slow because it's so big? Or are we gonna have little spurts of that sugary beverage all day? So the example that I gave the kids is, is so let's say it's Friday. Everybody loves Fridays. Everybody loves special treats on Fridays. So mom sends you with the chocolate milk in your lunch bag at school. So you have this chocolate milk. Then you go and you finish your day and you drink from your water bottle and you're at school. And then after school, because it's Friday, you're gonna go with your friend and you're gonna go play at their house. And their mom is super cool. She's gonna give you a juice box to have with your snack. So you have, you sit down at the table, you have your snack and you have your juice box. Another, and maybe she even gave you this really fancy juice that has no added sugar, but it still has 36 grams of sugar in it from those natural sugars that are contained in fruits. Okay, so you have that, and then you finish your snack, you maybe have some a little bit more water, and then you go and you go play some more. Your parents pick you up, and it's a fun night out for Friday night. You're going to go out to dinner with them, and your parents, once again, are feeling really, really nice that day because it's Friday, and they're feeling pretty special, so they're going to let you get a small soda to, to drink with your dinner. So you have the small soda. So this is three different times that you had sugary drinks that day, but you've had it at three different times. Now, let's just say that you had a really relaxing day at home and you decided that you wanted to get into the fridge and you're gonna drink this Gatorade. You had three different, you had three different sweet drinks the day before. So today you only wanna drink that one drink. So you're gonna get this big Gatorade and you're gonna have, you're gonna sip on it for breakfast and then after breakfast, you're gonna sit on the couch and you're gonna be watching your YouTube and you're gonna be just kind of drinking it, putting it down and drinking it again and putting it down. You're sipping on it slowly, but you're gonna do this all throughout the day, like several times an hour, just kind of sipping on this drink, okay? So at the end of the day, what do you think was worse for your teeth? 
having this one big Gatorade and drinking it slowly throughout the whole day and sipping on it, or having three times in the day that you had short little bursts of this. Well, you know what? Honestly, it's probably about the same amount of sugar. So for your body, it's probably doing the same thing, but your teeth is doing something very different. You never gave your teeth any time to rest during the day. And your teeth need to rest during the day. They need times during the day that they're not eating anything, that they're not drinking anything other than water. Remember, water doesn't have any sugar in it and it's very, very good for our bodies. It helps our bodies get back to normal, okay? It helps give our teeth a break during the day. So even though you had three small little bursts of sugary drinks, it was still better for your body than slowly slipping on a Gatorade all day. Now, is, but it, I would always say that it's definitely better to limit your sugary drinks to super special times, okay? Because we want to eat different things during the day. We want to drink. So making smarter choices where you're choosing maybe instead of this big Gatorade to have, you're choosing the smallest Gatorade that they have. You know, if you're going to have a drink of soda or lemonade or something like that at dinner with your family, maybe you choose to only have one instead of getting constant refills of it. And most importantly, when you're done with that meal or a snack, you need to put those sugary drinks down, you need to grab your water bottle and drink from that. That's gonna help you rinse out any of the food that you had during that meal, and it'll also help your mouth get back to normal faster. Here at Shine Pediatric Dentistry, we're always wanting you to be your brightest self and make healthy choices.